Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This end of day report is for trading on Thursday, June the 28th, 2016. For the night is dark and full of terrors. We know that the Bank of Japan is keeping everyone on the edge of their seat due to announce that tomorrow will be the end of days as they join in the party of dropping money out of the sky that does not exist only in their imagination they're going to join the party and help implode the old monetary fiat system of trade so they can make room to roll out the new digital control mechanism. Looking at the Dow futures chart here before you, as you can see we are negatively pulse waving but really no real downward conviction. The question will be will that change based on tomorrow's announcement? Will that change if the Fed cannot keep their promise to raise rates? I'm here to tell you I don't believe that the Fed will ever raise rates. Just like I do not believe that the U.S. stock market, the U.S. bond market, or the U.S. dollar will ever fall down again. Sure, we'll have minor corrections and hiccups here and there, just like you're looking at this chart right here. But this thing right here, never again. They will not allow the market to do that ever again. They are sure-footed, stone-faced, determined never to have this again. Never, ever, ever, never, ever, ever, never, ever, ever again you will not see that they do not want it not until they are ready so when they are ready what will happen this will happen but it will be more dramatic it will be like this so they can quickly do away with all the paper that is in the system and replace it with the digital but this is quite a way away they are not ready for when Hillary takes the Oval Office, you can bet your bottom dollar that her husband will be involved, even if it's behind the scenes. Him and Alan Greenspan will once again grace our TV screens and cheerlead the markets to highs that you would not even imagine. I'm here to tell you that the granddaddy of all market rallies is underway. It doesn't have to make sense. You don't even have to believe it. Dow 20 and 50,000, here we come. You have not seen the highs in the market yet. You have not. They will not let the market fail. Bonds will continue to march on as well. You will see the dollar get stronger and stronger, just like stocks get stronger and stronger, just like the bond market gets stronger and stronger. Yes, the dollar, bonds, and the markets will all rally together. Have I not told you that? Those of you who have been following me for some time know that I told you that years ago. I made videos showing you time and time and time again of the dollar, the stock market, the bond market, all the currencies and crude oil even marching in the same direction at the same time. Now those of you who went to business school and have your MBAs and studied uh, economics and you have economic degrees you know based on market theory that this is supposed to be impossible however 
all the correlations that you have come accustomed to loving and knowing and holding dear throughout the 80s and early 90s has disappeared and does not exist it died a painful horrible death at the hand of quantitative easing quantitative easing is a self-destructive phrase that refers to the ongoing outward bold not even behind the shadows anymore in your face manipulation of the Federal Reserve the US Department of Treasury and in cahoots with the SEC and in cahoots with the White House and in cahoots with various banking structures such as Goldman Sachs JP Morgan Deutsche Bank etc etc so Moving on, where does this put us? Well, let's see. Looking at the S&P 500, you can see that it is more stable than the Dow picture that I showed you. It's green. It's, it's being suspended in mid-air. Look at that. 2151.17, solid across the board. Major support. Nothing is happening. It will, they will not allow it to happen. It can't happen. It is impossible to happen. All right, that's what you're looking at. Here we are right here. It's The proof is right in your face. Market going absolutely nowhere. With not so bad average volume either. It's just not moving. You know why that is and you know how that is. I explained it to you in the documentary that I did called none other than there is no collapse. Proof is in the pudding right here. There is no collapse. Everyone's talking about collapse this, collapse that. Price fall this, stock market crash that. Do you see a crash anywhere? Where do you see a crash on this chart? I'm waiting. Where's the, ch where's the crash? I know what you're going to say. Ooh, right here. Here's the crash right here. Look at that. You fell from 2119 and you went all the way down to 1981. That's a crash right there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's not a crash. Technically, a crash would not be two bars, two daily bars, and then a reversal like that. That's not a crash. A crash is when you fall like this, and you have several bars like this, each one being more elongated than the last, and then you stay down. A crash would look something like this. This is a crash all right this is the British pound pound sterling this is a crash you crashed and you crashed some more after all this you crashed more and you have not recovered again you have not recovered you have not recovered that is a crash Longer term outlook, you have not recovered. Negative pulse wave, you have not recovered. Oversold, dead cat bounce, not of recovery. Moving on. Looking at the SPY now, same as the E mini SP 500, flatlined, no conviction to the downside whatsoever. But nevertheless, that does not stop the talking heads on TV for telling you what? What are they telling you every day? For the night is dark and full of terrors. Crash this, collapse that. Happen, not gonna. Here's your QQQ. It's not stopping. It's not looking back. Overbought? Sure but locked in. Do you see a sell signal on this chart anywhere? Show me a sell signal. I'll sit back and I'll wait. I'll give you some time. I'll give you a minute. I'm waiting. Do you see a sell signal anywhere on this chart? No, you do not. Time up. You do not. There is no sell signal. Market is well supported at 113.26. Look at your bonds. Your bonds are rallying with the NASDAQ. Look at that. Breakout. 
positive pulse wave now in the bonds went from negative to positive that is a green bar do you need me to make that bigger for you here it is this market is well supported at the trend line at 136.99 show me a sell signal on this chart I'm waiting do you see a short signal in the bonds? I don't want to hear your fundamental analysis. I don't want to hear that the night is dark and full of terrors. Show me the technical sell signal on this chart. I'm waiting. It does not exist. Overbought, coming off. No conviction. Where's the selling? I don't see selling. Do you see selling? No, you do not. Moving on. Here's Richmond Miners, ticker symbol RIC. It's moving in sympathy with silver. Look at that. It's locking in an uptrend. Do you see a sell signal on this chart? No, you do not. You see the market is well supported at $9.25. For the night is dark and full of terrors. And finally, I'll leave you with this. Look at the VIX. Hit a new low, $10.49 on the daily chart. Let's get a better picture of that. Let's get a better perspective for you. Came off a high back here on February the 8th of 30.85. That's a precipitous drop indeed. No one cares about your rhetoric about a collapse and a crash. They don't care they do not care here's your TVIX a dollar and 18 cents <laughs> Wow for the night is dark and full of terrors if you believe that then you should back up your truck and you should buy 10,000 shares Buy a hundred thousand shares. It's only a dollar and eighteen cents a share. Buy a hundred thousand shares of TVIX right now. I dare you. I double D dare you. Go ahead and do it. If you believe that the night is dark and full of terrors, you should own a million shares of the TVIX today. But you don't. And you know why you don't? It's not because you're scared. It's not because you're frightened. It's because you know that the night is dark and full of terrors. Not. Bulls make money, bears make money, and pigs get slaughtered. So take what you can, give nothing back.